Good morning, good morning, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. How are you wonderful people doing on this morning? You know, we look forward to coming to you with the word of the living God. And this week, we noticed the Holy Ghost took us in the direction of spiritual warfare. And on this morning, I am going to be reading to you the word of God from the book of Psalms chapter 18, a powerful chapter. We love Psalms chapter 18. My God, my God. If you need a scripture to encourage you in the midst of an intense battle, Psalms chapter 18 does it every single time. And I will be giving you a very good report at what all took place on this broadcast in the year of 2018. What a, what, what a, what a, what a beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is. Come on. What a beautiful name it is. Come on, church. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Sing. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Sing it. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful, what a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. Name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of. What a powerful, what a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, we are coming into the Christmas season and we want to say a big thank you, God, from the bottom of our hearts for sending your precious Son. Lord, and this, is, this is a season we celebrate Jesus. We are grateful. Lord, we are grateful for everything you've done for us. In this year of 2018, we are getting ready to go into a new year. But Lord, we are grateful for the good times, the bad times, the trials, the tribulations. God, your word says, we know that all things it work together for good to them that love God who are called according to his purpose. God, we put our trust in you. Minister to your people. As I'm about to read the word of God from the book of Psalms chapter 18, allow the Holy Ghost to be on this word. Quicken someone in their spirit. Encourage somebody during this Christmas season. Touch somebody. Turn their lives around. In the mighty name of Jesus, say amen. My God, my God. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. Sing it. Name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, 
nothing can stand against What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Now listen, I want to read the word of God to you from the book of Psalms chapter 18. Just give me my soft flow. Psalms chapter 18. Now listen, listen to the word of God. Listen to what David said. I love the scriptures. This scripture never fails to encourage us. Listen to what David said. I will read from verses one through six. Then I will jump down to verse 16. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. I call on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. The ropes of death entangled me. Floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death laid a trap in my path. But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry came to him and reached into his ears. Then the earth quaked and trembled. The foundations of the mountain shook. They quaked because of his anger. Remember when Paul and Silas was in prison, they prayed and sang praises to God. And the Bible says God sent an earthquake and shook the whole jailhouse up to the point that everyone's shackles fell from off their hands and their feet and all of the prison doors flew open. What a mighty God we serve. When God gets ready to answer your prayer, every closed door that's in the front of you will fly wide open. Now listen, I'm jumping down in the verse. Verse 14, he shot his arrows, he shot out his arrows and scattered his enemies. Great bolts of lightning flash and they will confuse. Then at your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. I love this here, listen. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his degrees, his decrees. I am blameless before God. I have kept myself from sin. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He has seen my innocence. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the pure, no, to those with, with integrity, you show integrity. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, you show yourself shrewd. You rescued the humble, but you humiliate the proud. You light a lamp for me. The Lord lights up my darkness. In your strength, I can crush an army. With my God, I can scale any wall. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock. God arms me with strength and he makes my way perfect. He makes me as sure-footed as a dare, enabling me to stand on mountain heights. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arm to draw a bronze bow. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand 
supports me. Your help has made me great. You have made a wide path for my feet to keep me from slipping. I chased my enemies and caught them. I did not stop until they were conquered. I struck them down so they could not get up. They fell beneath my feet. You have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued my enemies under me. You place my foot on their necks. I have destroyed all who hated me. They called for help, but no one came to their rescue. They even cried to the Lord, but he refused to answer. I ground them as fine as dust in the wind. I swept them into the gutter like dirt. You gave me victory over my accusers. You appointed me ruler over nations, people I don't even know now serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they submit. Foreign nations cringe before me. They all lose their courage and come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise to my rock. And may the God of my salvation be exalted. He is the God who pays back those who harm me. He subdues the nations under me. He rescues me from my enemies. You hold me safe beyond the reach of my enemies. You save me from violent opponents. For this, O oh Lord, I will praise you among the nations. I will sing praises to your name. You give great victories to your king. You show unfailing love to your anointed, to David and all his descendants forever. The word of the Lord is blessed. May every word I read be fulfilled in your life. What a wonderful name. Wonderful name it is. Sing it. What a wonderful name it is. My God. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Listen, I just can't wait. I just got to share right now. Listen. During this year on this broadcast, from January to right now, we've had 116 backsliders came back home and resurrendered their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. 116 backsliders were snatched from the jaws of the enemy. Are you listening to me? That's how many people rededicated their lives and came back to Jesus. And listen to the souls that were saved. We, we listen, we counted 1,605 souls were saved. 1,605 people gave their hearts to the Lord Jesus this year whilst listening to this broadcast. And we say to God, be the glory for the great things he has done and for the great things he is doing and for the great things he is about to do. You know the Bible says, he that winneth souls is wise. The Bible says a true witness delivers souls. That's what it's about. We are not just on here to waste your time. We are here to establish the kingdom of God. We are here to win the lost, to cast the devil out, to pray for the sick, to see God's people touched, to see God's people blessed. So 116 people rededicated their lives and 1,605 souls were saved. My God, to God be the glory. Great things he has done, great things he is doing and great things he is about to do. Isn't he awesome? I tell you what, that makes my Christmas worth it right there. To know that someone that was on their way to hell surrendered their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Listen, this year isn't over yet. I surrender all. You that's under the sound of my voice, this year is not over yet. You might have not given your life to Jesus yet, but what a perfect time to surrender your life to Jesus because Jesus is the reason for the season. It's not about Santa Claus. This is about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Are you listening to me? What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? Listen, without any further hesitation, I want you to pray with me right now. Jesus is calling you. The Holy Ghost is drawing you. The conviction is there. You can, you just know God's talking to you without any more procrastination or hesitation. I want you to pray this prayer after me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of doing things my way. Lord, you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for a wretch like me. On the third day, God raised you from the dead and gave you all power and authority in heaven and on earth and things under the earth. Jesus, your blood was shed that I might receive forgiveness. Right now, Lord, I surrender my life to you. I acknowledge you as Lord and Savior of my life. Friends, if you prayed that prayer, me and Pastor Amy want to be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Your sins have been forgiven. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. He loves you. Welcome into the kingdom. Today marks the day of an old chapter being closed and the beginning of a new chapter in your life. I want you to type under this video, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. What a way to come into the Christmas season, being a child of God, understanding why Jesus came. As a babe in a manger, his whole purpose was coming, to die for sinners like you and myself. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I surrender all, oh I surrender all. Mighty God, I surrender all. All. To thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. Listen, under the same anointing, I give myself under the same anointing. I'm asking you to sow a seed into this ministry. This is the Lord's work. Souls are being saved. Backsliders are coming home. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? That's the greatest thing we could do on this side of heaven is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to tell dying sinners that there is a way out of the mess and it's through Jesus. I'm asking you to visit us online right now and give an offering, give a donation, sow a seed, seanpender.net forward slash give. The ministry website is secured seanbender.net forward slash give if you prefer to give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanbender ministries if you prefer to mail in your donations make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pender ministries p.o box 117442 Carrollton, texas 75011-7442. Never forget that Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy, we love you. 
we care about you and we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God under salvation. Look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow morning on another morning prayer broadcast. Love you. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.